Hi everyone, it's Albert. Starting this week, let's try to solve some very good、uh, legal questions that got asked very frequently in coding interviews. And today, let's solve the question reverse linked list. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal question with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. In this question, we are given the head, which is the first list node of a singly linked list, and we have to reverse the list and then return the reverse list. In example one, we have a linked list that node one points to node two, and node two points to node three, and so on, to node five. So the reverse、uh, linked list will be node five point to four and three, and so on. In example two, this linked list only have two nodes. Is、uh, node one points to node two, so the reverse linked list will be node two point to node one. And example three is an edge case. If、uh, the input linked list is empty, then we will just、uh, return empty. And in most of the case for linked list and tree type of questions, there are usually two ways:、uh, iteration. A recursion approach to solve these kind of questions, and in this question, the iteration way, the key point is to set up a pre-pointer. And the recursion approach, the key is to set up the correct base conditions. Now let's see the code in action. First, let's look at the iteration approach, and here we will use the linked list、uh, one, two, three, four. As an example, so at the beginning, we first check、uh, if head is null. Then we will just return head to handle the edge case. And we have to set a pre pointer that points to none. And pre is actually the head of the reverse list that will we return at the end. And then we will have a while loop that the condition is while head is not null. And in the loop, first set the next node of head to an NXT next, and then we'll let head point to the print node to reverse it, and then we'll move pre to head and head to next to move all the three pointers. And now we are in the next while loop, so repeat the same process. Let head points to the print node, and then move. Pre head and next. So following the same process, when the while loop finished, all the links will be reversed, and pre will point to the last node. And the pre pointer now is the new head of the reverse list. So we will return pre at the end. So this is the iteration approach. And next, let's look at the recursion way to solve it. Okay, and the recursion solution. We can just use the given function as a DFS、uh, function, but the most important thing of the recursion solution is the base condition. If head is null or head dot next is null, then we will just return head immediately. And very soon we will see why、uh, head dot next is needed as part of the base condition. And we will use the same example with head point to not one. And first, we will keep recursing head dot next to the end. And notice here that when head dot next is null, which is、uh, node four, we will return head,、uh, which we called new head here. And then the head node from the previous recursive call is actually at node three. And now we can start to reverse the links. So first, set The next node of head to NXT, and then let NXT point to head. And another important step here is that we have to remove the head dot next link to avoid infinite loop. So here we can just set head dot next is equal to none. And back to the last recursive call. Head will point to node two. And next will point to node three, 
and repeat the same process. Let next point to head and then remove the link head.next. And following the same process, all the links will be reversed. And you can see that at the end, the new head will be the head of the reverse link list. So we can just return new head at the end. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So this question is a perfect application of using iteration and recursion way to solve a linked list type of problems. And for the iteration approach, the key is to set up a pre-pointer. And for recursion, the important step is the base condition that if head is null or head.next is null, then we will just return head. And time complexity of both approach are both big of n linear. And space complexity is a constant for iteration approach, but it will be a big of n for recursion because of the call stack of the recursion functions. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.